Hello, this is Jack Jackson with part 7 of our lectures on descriptive statistics. This lecture will be on describing shape. So what we're looking at is the shape of a distribution. Think of like the dot plot. And we're looking at the dot plots and we want to describe the overall shape of it. And we're going to talk about a few different possible shapes that a distribution might have. Uh, those will be uniform, mound shape, symmetric, skewed, or bimodal. So let's take a look at some of these. Uniform, the frequency bars for a histogram would be all the same height. So this is a uniform, uh, 4, 5, and 6, all equally, uh, 4, 5, 6, and 7, I should say, all equally the same height. Uh, notice these. some of these graphs will have probability listed on the left. That is actually relative frequency on the left. So this could be a relative frequency histogram or if you actually multiplied these probabilities by the total sample size this would be a frequency histogram. We can also have graphs that are sometimes not exactly uniform but approximately uniform or some of these other shapes that are not perfect but they're approximate as well. But uniform means all the same, evenly spread out. Symmetric means it's centered up on the mean. And it is, not only is it centered on the mean, both sides of the mean are reflections of each other. So in some sense, every distribution is centered on the mean, but this one has both sides of the mean a reflection of each other. Notice that this will make the mean and the median the same. So not only is that the mean, the balance point in the middle there, in this case 15, but it's also the median because if it's symmetric, then half will be below it, below the mean, and half will be above the mean. So mean and mean and median are equal to each other. That's exactly, uh, and, and both sides are mirror images of each other. That will be what makes it uh, symmetric. If it's symmetric and mound shape, not only is it symmetric, both halves are the same, uh, but mirror images of each other, where the mean and median are the same, it's also humped up a lot more near the mean. So the mean is also the highest bar, which makes it the mode as well. So the mean, median, mode are all the same, in this case right there at 15, and then it goes down from that on both sides, evenly spaced out on both sides. And once again, we may have something that's not perfectly symmetric, but is a little bit off of symmetric, or it could be way off of symmetric. Okay. Skewness is a measure of deviation from perfect symmetry. So if a graph has a skewness of zero, that means it's perfectly symmetric. Of course, we can have graphs of a distribution, dot plots or frequency histograms, that are almost symmetric, and they'll have a skewness pretty close to zero. But any distribution that's not perfectly symmetric will have some non-zero skewness. If the absolute value of the skewness is close to zero, then you're pretty much symmetric or almost symmetric. If the skewness is large in absolute value, then the data is said to be significantly skewed. So you talk about a skewed data set. Now it can be skewed in one of two directions, to the right or to the left. So this da uh, data set here is skewed to the right or positively skewed. Notice that the larger bars are actually on the left side with this long tail out to the right of trailing uh, smaller bars going out to the right. So think of the long, which way the tail is going, and that's the way we say. So to the right, as the, the long tail, that's skewed to the right or positively skewed. Look at the tail. On the other hand, if the tail is going out to the left, like this distribution, this is negatively skewed or skewed to the left. And once again, if it's symmetric, then it has no skewness at all. It's zero skewness. And you can actually put a number to this. Uh, we're not going to worry about how to compute that number later, but if you did ever see something computed for skewness for a data set, this is what it's measuring. So if that number comes out to be zero, perfectly symmetric. Close to zero, still not perfectly symmetric, but almost. And then we can see negatively, a negative skewness, skewed to the left, long tail to the left, 
and then positive skewness, long tail to the right. Finally, we're going to look at one example of what we would call a bimodal distribution. So if you have two different modes, or even if it's not really two different modes, but you just have a, a local maximum here, and then maybe a local maximum over here, this looks like maybe two, maybe even almost symmetric distributions that have sort of been mixed together. And most likely that's what actually has happened when you see this sort of a shape to your, to your graph of your histogram or your uh, uh, dot plot. What you're going to see here is you've probably got two different populations mixed together. So these might be salaries. The one on the, these salaries over here might be the salaries of most of the workers, of the, the you know, rank and file workers. And then over here you have your, your management. And so we see that uh, you have sort of two things, two populations mixed together there. Okay, so when you have this sort of situation, you should probably go ahead and split it out into two different populations and then graph them separately, maybe side by side, but not, or not as part of the same distribution. So we see a variety of different shapes that a distribution might have.